as requested, they were deploying Command VM. Command VM is Windows Offensive VM, which is designed for helping you achieve your red team slash pen testing goals. It is Windows environment with a bunch of tools and settings to help you do your pen testing job without any kind of problem. It is especially useful when it comes to exploit development, ex research of exploits, threat intelligence, or any kind of Windows exploitation. It has a variety of tools, and if any tool is missing, it can pretty much be installed, and most of the tools has Windows support, especially if they are built on Python. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's just dive in. Alright, first things first, let's go and walk it through the prerequisites. So this is the official GitHub page of Commando, hosted by Mendiant, and of course I'm gonna have that linked in my description, so you can check it from there. When we scroll down, we can see the installation pane, and the base requirements for the Commando. So pretty much what you're gonna need is a standard Windows 10 ISO from one of these versions, and me and of course the GitHub page highly recommend to use the latest 21H1. Then you're gonna need at least 60 gigs of RAM, of a hard drive, sorry, and I recommend sticking to 4 gigs of RAM. My SSD is not that big, so I'd spare 60 gigs for hard drive, but if you have like a hard disk or a bigger SSD than mine, you can surely put that into 100 or more gigabytes of hard drive because this is really space consuming. Now this is all we need, you can find Windows ISO from our official Microsoft Windows page, you can download it from there, I have mine ready, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and become a commander. Alright guys, now I'm inside my VMware workstation and let's go and create a new Windows virtual machine. All you need is go to file, new virtual machine, then go to typical, next, load your ISO, which downloaded from Microsoft documentation, from Microsoft official page, sorry, load it there. Now let's go and then name it a proper name, so Windows 10, Commando YouTube. Now browse where pretty much the Commando is going to be stored, so I'm going to do VMs, Commando YouTube, and yes, I place Heroes of the Storm if someone is playing as well, just ping me on Discord, link in the description, so we can play together. Just click OK, Commando YouTube, alright, click Next. Now we need to pretty much say how much disk we want, at my case it's 60 gigs. Click next, customize hardware. Now as, as we mentioned, go with, with, with at least 4 gigs of RAM, I'm gonna put 8 because I have a lot. And then to process is ok, processor is ok, then network adapter NAT, this should be ok. Now close, finish, and this should be enough. Now let's just wait a little bit because it's gonna walk us through the standard Windows installation. I'm gonna speed run that video so you don't have to wait and see you whenever my Windows is being ready. Alright, after a little bit of time, we are here and it's always a good idea to click to VM and install VM tools. When you click that, you should be mounting an ISO on the, yeah, on the D drive and then click the auto run. Or apologize, maybe setup 64 would be better. And this VMware tools is pretty much all the VM support that you need, for example, the screen resize, the double mouse button and all the extras that you need for your VMs to run smooth. So it's always a good idea to have them. Go with complete, next, install. And this should be pretty fast. And as you can see, my screen immediately resizes, so we are good to go. Let's click finish and Click restart, of course, when you're using Windows, you should be used to getting rebooted because, you know, that's how Windows pretty much works and how it fixes things. So I'm gonna speed up the video again and see you just um, in a minute. Alright, the time has come for the fun part. Let's open up the browser and navigate to the command to GitHub once again. So, GitHub, command VM, there it is. And let's go through the instructions. So if you paid attention, we can see pre-install procedures. So there's a thing we must do before installing Commando. 
You must disable Windows Defender for smooth install. Keep in mind that Commando is offensive VM, so it is gonna install a lot of things, most of them which are triggered by the Defender, so it must be disabled. The best way to accomplish this type of group policy in Windows versions of higher than 1909. Temper protection was added, temper protection must be disabled, otherwise group policy settings are ignored. So let's go to in Windows security type uh, Windows security search box. And it's gonna bring up the defender. Now here we're gonna need to virus threat protection, go to manage setting, and pretty much disable all these things. Here is the temper protection. Alright. Then to permanently disable real time protection, let's open up GP Edit, which is the group policy editor, and maybe we're gonna need an administrator, right? So CMD. Right click, run as administrator, GP edit. There we are. Now, what we need to do here? Computer configuration, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows component, Microsoft Defender. Where is that? Microsoft Defender antivirus and real time protection. Alright, now enable turn off real time protection. Turn off real time protection, enable it, apply, and it should be disabled. Alright. Now we're gonna need to reboot. And we need to reboot before making the next change. Then we're gonna need to di disable, permanently disable Microsoft Defender, and then we're gonna need to install the, the commando. This is done because every single time you restart the box or Windows machine, the Defender is automatically ter turning itself to on. No matter what registry you are doing or what... If you don't completely disable it, if you don't permanently disable Defender, it's gonna find a way to pretty much turn itself back to on. That's why we're gonna need a lot of restarts, because each procedure is turning disable, is disabling the Defender off, and by the last one, which is gonna be performed right now, we should have the non-defender box. Then we're gonna smooth install commando and be happy to be a red team ninja. So type my password again. Alright, let's open up the same repository. Do you remember my session or do I need to I think it does but yeah there it is. Alright. Now what's the last step? GP edit again. We're gonna need CMD against administrator. And now do GP edit. Alright, and here we're gonna need to do again computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, Microsoft Defender antivirus, pretty much the same path. Alright, and then enable turn off Microsoft. Defender antivirus. So turn off Microsoft Defender antivirus, enable, apply, close that, and we have to reboot again. So I'm gonna pause again because I don't want you guys to wait. So I will see you in just a minute. Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, we have the Defender, but if I open it, we can see that virus threat protection is getting information on an infinite loop. So it's kind of disabled and it no longer works. Now, we have several ways to install it. We have standard install and custom install. So uh, we're gonna go with the standard install. All right, so where was it here? When we download that, there is a file called install.ps1 and pretty much it takes care of all the installation process. So we're gonna follow the steps. We're gonna run that script and while we're starting, it's gonna pretty much reboot a lot of times, but bear with me, it's all normal since I told you it's a Windows. Now let's download that since we don't have a git so far, but we can download it as a zip. So let's move it to the desktop, extract here. Let's go here and found the instructions. So first we we have to 
is the pre-install procedure. Create a configure new virtual machine. We have done that. Take a snapshot of the machine. This guy is really important because if something breaks up, you must have the ability to revert back to the box. So before commando, when you have the VM, it's always a good idea to utilize snapshot, especially when you're doing some kind of big changes like that. We download that, open PowerShell as administrator. Run as administrator, cd, users, test, desktop, commando. We have that installed at PS1. Let's do unblock file, install at PS1. Set execution policy unrestricted so we can pretty much execute scripts. Alright, and we can either run it like that or we can supply a password. I've never supplied a password because I would need I would not need that, but if you want you can try it out. So the last step is to pretty much run install.ps1. You need to, to change this setting. So checking to make sure Windows Defender Temple Protection is disabled. It is disabled, so do you need to change the settings? Uh, I think no. Alright. Do you need to take snapshot? No, I already took that. Type your password. Read carefully. This tau is not 100% unattended. Please monitor the install for possible failures. If install falls, you may restart the install by running the install script with the following command. So pretty much this is a think what to do if something goes wrong, but I believe nothing will go wrong. So uh, as you can see, we have 30 seconds left. So I'm going to speed up the video and let's see what's going to happen. And it started. So uh, this is going to start installing a lot of things now. As you can see, it's starting Chocolate, which is pretty much the repository for Windows. And believe me, it's going to do a lot of things and you're going to encounter a lot of restarts. So I'm going to speed up the video once again because I'm not going to waste your time and whenever it's finished, we're going to see our end result. So guys, after the final reboot, you should be seeing something like that. Whenever you see the command VM wallpaper, your machine is good to go. If there is anything left over, you just have to click enter and reboot the box once again. And we are here. As you can see, this is a really easy and straightforward install. All you need is just to run a install script using PowerShell with administrative rights and that's it. Keep in mind that it takes a lot of time. and it restarts a lot of thing, a lot of times, so you have to be patient, but you end up having a command VM. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new. If that's the case, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and join my Discord for more details, knowledge sharing, and just having fun. Thank you guys, and see you right in the next one.